In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the new color picker in iOS 14 in Swift UI. Here we are in the starter project. I just have a V stack with a circle in it uh, with the color of red, gave it a frame and we're good to go. What we're going to do with the color picker is change the color of the circle if you didn't see that coming. So to do that, well, the first way I'm going to show you how to put it in a form uh, as well, which is pretty simple, but we're just going to type color picker. Now color picker is a control. So uh, we have to give it like a title string uh, in the selection, like the binding of the color, what we're going to do. You can see there's a couple different options uh, for the different type of initializers. We're just gonna stick with the simple one, the label and a color. So the string, we'll just say change circle color. And then the selection, here's where we have to bind it to a variable, right? This is where we're capturing the value of whatever color is selected. So for that, we need to create a state variable here. Also with state variables, whenever this is updated, the view will change, which will show the new color we picked. So for that, we do at state private var, we'll say selected color. Of course, you can name this uh, whatever you want. That is of type color and it's going to equal dot red. We're just gonna give it a default value uh, of red there. So this binding color, what this is doing here, we're gonna do dollar sign uh, selected color. We got the autocomplete. And essentially what we're doing is, okay, whatever color you pick from the color picker, capture that value in the selected color variable up here. And then we can use that value however we please, which you'll see how we're gonna do it. Actually, let's do that right now. Instead of the foreground color being red, we can now make this selected color. Cause again, we capture that value. We wanna make that our foreground color. So let's run the preview here, hit play, tap on our control. And you see, we get the color picker. As you can see, we can pick any color we want here. Uh, we can do it from via spectrum where we can drag it around and pick sliders uh, where we can, you know, drag pick whatever we want, close it out, and you see we get this teal color. And again, that's because whatever value we select is getting captured in this selected color, and then we're using the selected color as our foreground color. Now, one last minor thing I wanna show, I'm gonna put this in a form uh, because, you know, Usually when you're selecting a color on something, like I'm imagining entering like a event on a calendar, it's usually in a form. We can get rid of the padding here if we have the form, but you can see nothing changed. It's just now in a form. You can imagine having a couple different options. Same thing, tap the color, change it right there. You can see it changing in real time uh, above the, the picker there. There you go. And then if we just run this on the simulator real quick, you can see in dark mode, just to show you that the uh, picker does respect dark mode, right? You get a nice little dark mode version of it and you can click around. So that's the quick rundown on color picker. If you enjoyed my teaching style, my presentation style, I started creating my own iOS dev courses at the website you see here. Go there, check it out. You can watch the first 10% of each course for free to get a feel for it. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one.